Hey all, Will Healy here, and uh, I just had a great conversation with Chris May and the team at Albar Industries. These guys are painting parts for the automotive industry, metal and plastic, uh, as a tier one and tier two parts supplier. But what's really impressive is they've taken to heart seriously the idea of the smart factory and how to bring the industrial internet of things into their factory. They didn't bulldoze the factory and bring in all new equipment. They took what they had, right? what they had from um, from the 1980s uh, and from from different years and they added to it and retrofitted technologies to it and what's impressive you can see is they're using uh, on their paint line they have industrial RFID where they're actually tracking the jobs running on their line they're doing small job shop uh, type painting for for the automotive industry and what that allows them to do is to run multiple jobs on the line at the same time it can take many hours for parts once loaded to make it all the way to the end to unload and inspect and so knowing what's gone into the machine where it is in the process and when it's going to come out of the process is a big deal they've added a lot of efficiency to their equipment on a scale of like 10 percent and that's really huge and what's really interesting is they've incrementally added technologies and small investments over time and so i liked chris may's message about their is hope for small and mid-sized manufacturers to embrace smart manufacturing and I like how they've they've taken the concept to heart they're making decisions daily and investing small amounts each day and each year and working towards automation and now they have condition monitoring and you can see all the different values that they're tracking throughout the plant they know what's going on they have more visibility they have more efficiency and they have more flexibility for their smart factory and they're adding more every day and thinking about ideas and I'm just really impressed by what's going on here at Albar Industries in Lapeer, Michigan. Remember, until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?